Hi, my name is Kusal Parmar and I am currently pursuing Diploma in Game Engineering. As a part of an assignment from Edexcel, a reference game was given to me, Pac-Man. In a pre-production phase, considering the original game mechanics of Pac-Man, I decided to stick with it and take it to the bigger scale, where I faced the challenge of taking the game into the third dimension. After much research and development, I came up with the idea of platformer game with an isometric view. And then moving on with the game designing phase, I imagined a fantasy theme where landscape will be floating above the sky and clouds and wrote a storyline according to it. Next step was prototyping and asset creation. Here I was assigned an artist from game designing batch. I explained the whole concept of the game to artist and he suggested to add castle in one of the levels. So we came up with the idea of additional level where player will have to battle with the monster and have to defeat him in order to capture all the treasure and fulfill the final objective of the game. After artist was assigned, we started working on the environment. Due to the fantasy element of the level, it took little longer than expected to finish. I faced the challenge by prototyping the player power up, which we decided to roll and dash the player to particular place. I used Raycast for the whole mechanism. After implementing the prototype and adding the game elements into the environment, I discovered that it wasn't working accurately and there were so many unexpected collision problems. So I had to start from the scratch and build another prototype using only direction keys and it worked just fine. While working with the AI, the one of the challenges that I faced was to stop enemy falling off the platform. To solve it through research, I discovered a very interesting and helpful feature of Unity Game Engine, which was Navigation Mass. Using Navigation Mass, I set the limited path for enemy all over the platform. And then we wanted two functions to happen for enemy. One was to follow the player and another was running away once player gained power up. To do so, I wrote four different scripts and had to disable and enable simultaneously. From the beginning of the project, I already knew the game was too linear, there wasn't much variation, just collecting the collectibles. So we decided to add navigation challenges like moving platforms, pressure plates, traps, and a puzzle where player has to trap the spider inside a cage in order to clear the map. It was an adventurous experience making the third person version of Pac-Man. It was a different idea and I believe I managed to pull off a decent prototype and now it's up and running at CMIT website.